Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V with Japan. So today we want to take some more Roman cities and probably prepare the final push towards Karak, Rome and Rome. And once again, I'll repeat, we'll just focus on the war. I don't care about the economy anymore. I don't care really about like repairing tiles, developing our territory. It's not relevant anymore. It's just about getting to Rome. Uh, we still... I have to move some, not actually just to move some units, we have to, or we have all units available, we have bombers available, so we'll start this turn by clearing this area, hopefully. Okay, what's the first move? I should probably get rid of some cruisers, so we have bombers ready for that, and I see one infantry that should probably move back and heal up a bit. Now, the bombers, where are they gonna go first? Probably this cruiser two, three, that's one down. Uh, don't really care about this ironclad. So I'd much rather try and kill the other cruiser. One, two, three. There we go. It's a lot more important that uh, we make sure Rome can't bombard our units that are sitting on the coast. Wait. And how many units do they have here exactly? We can kill this, or kill, hit this guy multiple times you can go back you can go back and finish him off yep okay so that's one thing now can I one shot no I can't one shot this hmm we have bombers here maybe I should use them first if there is even anything oh, there there are units they can hit Oh, actually, that's... Wow. I thought we'd do a lot more damage there. But, wait, we have some decent damage here. Um, I need one more hit. No, one more hit. One hit on this Gatling gun. So that I can pillage this tile, finish it off. Good. Probably don't want to leave the light tank in the front line. Let's move it back. Do we have a unit that can hold the line here? We do. How much damage can we do down here? Again, not quite enough. Let's move forward. Oh, by the way, I still have to be careful because Rome is still stronger than we are in though we have been killing his units for like five, five, six turns now and that was quite a few units every turn. So we still can't like go all in. Um, this should be enough. There. But this guy might be in trouble now. Uh, the tank should be fine. We just pillage this tile. Get a kill. And I may even have enough movement points. No, I thought that maybe I'll be able to kill the field gun. Uh, okay. Move, move. So now, how does it look like with the artillery that's in the range? We can move closer. This one is... Oh, well, it's probably fine by now. Come on. Yeah, oh, actually, wait. Can I move? I can just cross the river. This one... Move all the way into Roman territory. Mm. Nah, just not fast enough. Oh, well, let's make sure that they can get into position next turn. And this one will be able to shoot next turn. And the last one... Actually, what I can do is move this one and this one. Okay. So I can shoot only once, but next turn they are all in position. Let's hit the city. You can fortify. What about you? You can hit the city. And what 
else is here? Light tank can move closer. We still have what three bombers? They can attack the cavalry, I think. Two, three, not enough to kill it. Okay, machine gun can hit the iron clod. This infantry. Oh wait, that was a mistake. Kind of forgot about the citadel. Well, well, shouldn't be a big deal. Fortify, and you can attack Hog. And one more. Okay, so the city should go down next turn. You can move away. Actually, not next turn. We only need uh, one more turn after that to get the infantry to the city. Fortify, fortify. What is this? A missionary? Oh, I don't even care about religions anymore. Um, the bombers can't really do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Let's rebase these. Next turn we're gonna repair them and then we're gonna upgrade them so they will be able to reach uh, the Megan. And I'm pretty sure when we get the bombers, the city started falling so much faster because the upgrade uh, is actually pretty huge. The, the damage is very noticeable. Oh, do we have some more attacks? We do. One, two, three. Come on. Oh, that's the bug again. Yeah, that's the problem with the uh, extra hit point promotions. The AI just, or the AI, the game just wasn't built for units with more than 100 health. So the bombers are kind of confused. But uh, luckily, land units. Don't have a problem with that. So we can get a kill. And uh, did I miss anything? This is all fine. You can move closer. And who still needs orders? You need orders, just fortify. Yeah, I won't even bother with workers anymore. Let's just focus on fighting and nothing else. Well, you can just fix that citadel. We might lose this tank. And we may lose the infantry. Uh, no. Good. It's probably because of the desert and the rough terrain. They were not able to move enough units to get the kill. And that's perfect because now they are really exposed. Um, come on, barbarians. Good. Mm. Pillage. Move. Let's actually kill the rifleman. And hit the city because why not? Mm, I want to. Well, may as well do it, right? Fortify. Okay, and these bombers can start hitting the Megan, I think. Indeed, they can. Okay, promotion. Visibility. Visibility might not be the worst uh, promotion for a tank. They will be uh, in the front line most of the time. So, yeah, I think I will take the extra vision. I'll just queue up some buildings that take a while to finish. Whatever factory. And how are we doing around Setia? Can we take the city on this turn? 
Is there anything to pillage except the railroad? Nope. Can I... I can't one-shot the field gun. Might be the best move, but... Actually, the best move is probably... Let's see... Let's use one bomber so that I can get the kill here. Can these bombers reach the field gun? Nope. trying to clear a path for this tank to move it a little bit farther away but I actually don't think I can save him can I one shot this? no I can't uh. we're gonna lose it I can't move anywhere because of zone of control and I can't kill this rifleman, I think. I could try to, to maybe take the city that will allow me to move units this way. Oh, well, that's not gonna work either. Well, let's start with the field guns. We'll see how much damage we can do. Oh, by the way, these bombers might be able to do something. I completely forget about them. Yeah, that's what gonna what's gonna save the tank. One, two, three, four. Move back, pillage. That's important that I could move and pillage this tile and move one more tile. Now it should be okay. And we still have what two more attacks. Ah, that was close. What, two hit points? There, perfect. Slight thing has to move away. How many hit points? Thirty-seven. Uh, let's use our bombers. One, two, three, four, five. Two, four, five. I probably already used one earlier. Uh, nine hit points. Come on, I have to get rid of the stupid garrison. There. So now the last hit from the artillery should be a lot more significant. Well, it was nice, but not quite enough. I see probably one attack. 41 hit points. Uh, it's not gonna work. 
And by one attack, I mean one ranged attack, so that then the tank could take the city. Well, there is a chance, but if I fail, the tank is gone. But you know what? Let's do it. Damn it! How did the city survive? It is zero. No, of course, it's one hit point. Well, one thing is having units on one hit point when it's one out of 100. Another thing is one out of 685. Come on. Let's hit this guy. Moving forward. What about the para drop somewhere? I could drop behind enemy lines, but I don't think that would really change anything. Well, probably just para drop here. Okay, now we move the general closer, and do we have another one? Just move him one tile, and this one can join the front line as well. Okay, so that's that. Also, this is a logistics light tank, should probably send him to the front line and replace the garrison with the infantry. Fortify, fortify, and fortify everything. Good. More bombers. Uh, these guys are waiting for radar, so they can just sit here. And hit the city. How are we doing with great people? 20 turns. Uh, can we fade by something? No, how long do we need? Three more turns. I wonder if we can make it to like million fades in the end. If I stop buying great people, we don't really need them. Next. Oh, and by the way, they don't change orders before we start the next game. I won't be taking it. And there goes the tank. Because it's just way too strong. It'd be ideal if there was the option to, like, uh, disable it. Because this is just ridiculous. I've never had so much faith. I'm not even trying to get it, right? I'm not focusing on getting faith. I'm just fighting and the faith is just growing completely out of control. Okay, there is Hog, which gives us radar. Perfect. I could even liberate the city if I really wanted to, but uh, that would block my movement here, so I'll just puppet it. And before we start upgrading all the bombers, let's check the situation. Look at that! Wow. Okay. Pillage the tile. And we take the city. I think I'm even gonna annex this one. One, two, five. Thinking, what's the best, or how's, how should I say it? What is the easiest way how to kill this rifleman? 
and stay safe. This looks like a good option. If I go for the skill, am I going to lose the tank? I hope not, that should be a pretty good heal. And... Uh, what's better? Let's check promotions. I think I want to get rid of the Gutling Gun. Do we have one frontline unit somewhere? I really don't want to send my light tanks to the frontline. Oh wait, this one can't move. This should work. No, this one can move. Start hitting Mediolanum. Okay, now about the bombers. Yeah, we have to upgrade them right now. So let's go for it. It's only 330 gold. I expected more, even though we have uh, most of the uh, upgrade discounts that are available. Because without those discounts, I think this upgrade is one of the most expensive ones. So I was saving up money. Okay, so that's that. Where is the rest? How many bombers do we have? Only 24. I thought we had 30. Okay, so the rest is down here. And uh, why can't I build a fort here? 
because I can't build a fort on the resource. Is that possible? I can build it. No, this is oh, this is resource as well. Hmm. So we won't be able to get to the inland sea. Might be possible here, but yeah, I won't bother. I'll just get the oil. And we'll be taking the Megan with our bombers anyway. No, 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 don't delete. That was a misclick. Two, four, six. I hope I didn't delete him. It seems that I didn't, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you can sit there. You need healing. Can we attack? No. Fortify. You can pillage the tile. Fortify. And I think I still need two more upgrades. There. Okay, so we have 24 heavy bombers and the um, next turn Roman city start. Uh, falling much faster. A little bit of faith. Okay, next we are gonna take Atomic Theory. I want to build Manhattan Project before Rome. Because that is still a way for him how to do a lot of, a lot of damage. He can't win, right? But... Uh, he could still get that nuke and destroy like half of our land units. I'd rather avoid that. What about this? Let's get the wall. And... Uh, are you at war with Rome? You are. I will just wait for Rome to take Amsterdam. Then I will take it myself from the sea. Next. And we could again lose a unit here. Maybe this guy could fall. The tank. Definitely pretty exposed. Everyone is fine. Assault. Uh, you won't be in the game for much longer. Don't really have to bother with him. Fine. So how does it look like? Still taking so much damage. Um, I expected more than this. I think the city will have to wait. How far can we reach? That's pretty decent.
so many targets now. I don't know what to attack first. Uh, this is my ghost division, by the way. That's why why I'm pushing so far forward. But well, <sighs> to be honest, I don't know why I'm moving them so far. Um, what else? Move the general. Can we get another field gun into position? Uh, maybe we can get infantry support for these tanks. Yep. Move back. Okay. Where did this come from? He's still stronger, so there are units everywhere. So next turn, we'll be able to reach basically anything that we can see, at least with these six. Thinking that I'm just gonna declare on William myself. Or I can send the cruisers here. And just attack all the units that are on the coast. Just keep doing damage. Just right now, Rome can. Uh, replace units that I destroy every turn. Damn. And if I can just find like another place where I can keep killing units, he will eventually bleed out. Okay, another six. Well, they will all focus on the Megan. Three, four, five, six. This is what Desert Hill, so I can move, shoot, but I won't be able to move back. That sounds like a bad idea.
Now when one of them is gone, maybe I can afford to do it. Move closer. And what are we gonna hit? Okay, looks good. Fortify, fortify. We probably want to take uh, Mediolanum, Amsterdam, and the Rotterdam today, so let's keep going. Because then we might be able to take all of this in the next episode. Although I'm not sure how long this episode is right now, so. Maybe I should just slow down, stop losing units. Okay, so even if I kill all these units on the coast, Rotterdam is going down. That means I can... Oh wait, is this on the hill? I don't think so. Start with the Gatling gun. thought maybe I could just forget about the fleet, but uh, it's still irrelevant. I mean, all of these units would be reinforcements for the front line. I move forward, I'm gonna lose the paratrooper. There are just too many ranged units. Oh, how did he not die? I was so convinced that I can one shot the Lancer, I didn't even check. be able to get on this tile and attack one two three oh, it's still not enough I 
think this actually this might be a no. Oh wait, is it? No, it's two hit points. I thought it was one hit point again. Something like the tanks can't take cities, but they can, right? They just have to somehow do enough damage. Do I have one more tank hiding somewhere? Nope. What about this one? I can't really go anywhere. They really have one more attack available on the machine gun. Uh. Thinking about it, just to go all in. How many movement points? Two. So I can get the kill here, move back, pillage the tile, and move my light tanks forward. This one is completely useless here. I'll just move him around the hill. Excuse me. Fortify, fortify. How did the tank die? One, two, three, four. There might be some cruisers. Actually, you know what, I'll just move away from the coast, just in case there are cruisers. Well, actually, even if there are cruisers, this didn't change anything. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose units again, and I can't really do anything about it. I'm a bit too reckless here. I'm still, like, thinking, okay, they have to run out of units at, at one point, but... Not really, they are actually getting stronger somehow. Do I have to even start, like, buying units? No. Can't be. Okay, so they the only thing these bombers can hit is the city. Two, three, four, five, six. And uh, we could go great leap forward. Let me see what are our options. Mobile tactics, that's one thing. Get, get uh, mechanized infantry. And the other free tag. Well, radio, it's not much, but it will get us closer to atomic theory. And we could, in the end, uh, use the nuke, just uh, get rid of some of those Roman units. It seems they really are everywhere. The second deck was a bit of a waste, but I really want my new. I 
and we still have six more attacks. Uh, how far can these guys go? They can kill some units. I think I should do that. Two, three. Come on. Well, now when I started with it, I may as well finish it. But I wouldn't be able to kill another one, therefore the other two will just hit the city. It's so tempting going for this kill. You know what? I'm greedy. I'm gonna do it. I over already overextended multiple places. May as well overextend everywhere. Oh, and by the way, what's this upgrade? Is this the first time that we get helicopter gunships? I think it is, right? Hey, they are so cool. Any more upgrades? I missed. Here we have some infantry that we can upgrade. So that should be the end of their garrison duty. Um, anything else? This is another upgrade. That's another upgrade. And down here we have some more. Actually, yeah, we can upgrade this one. Okay, are we gonna send these units north? And this should be a pretty good flank. might still be irrelevant. How are we doing happiness-wise? It's probably the last thing we're gonna check today. Uh, I'm checking war weariness. 35, that's a lot. Yeah, because I st I'm losing units, the war weariness is going up much faster. And this may even force us to end the war at some point. Which I'd rather avoid, but I, mean, I don't have a choice. Okay, let's make a cut here. Mm, we'll continue next time. Neymag and Medulanum go down very quickly. Uh, Rome takes Rotterdam and on the same turn probably we take it away from them. So we'll have a base of operation behind their lines. Just have to be careful so that I don't take the city and lose it on the turn after again. Uh, we should be able to clear the area around... Yeah, and when we have a base of operation behind their lines with some land units coming, we should be able to get rid of this. That's gonna be a nice pocket. Okay, fine, but that's not gonna be next episode. For today, we are done, so I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're gonna join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.